Hey folks, time for another unboxing video. Uh, I mean, you know how these are few and far between because I'm not exactly rolling in money. So uh, I got actually a two for this time around. Um, I do know what's in here. And you'll know what's in there momentarily. I don't know what's in here though. Because uh, I got this, there's this app called Hello. Of course, you can't. Uh, have an unboxing video without having my life co-star here, uh, Blackie. Hello. 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 What is it? So anyway, this is, uh, I have an app on my phone called Shop that, you know, lets me, <laughs> that lets, that lets me see, you know, when I have things on their way to, you know, when I buy things or I don't think it comes up for everything, but for most things it comes up. So let's just start opening this up. It and you, a lot of times the package will say what's in the package, but it doesn't say. So if I can, I've looked at it several times. It doesn't seem to say what's actually in the package. So I can, I have an idea what it might be. Well, the only thing I can, I can imagine it being. The only thing I can imagine it being. Um... But, I mean, I got two things that are uh, on their way. And it gets clearly labeled on the... It's clearly labeled on the uh, on the shop app. What, uh, what they are and when they're liable to be here. And uh, this is, I don't know. This might be, this might be what I think it is, actually. This is the two things, I think, that, the, the two other things that are coming to me from Wish. Because this happens a lot. They'll put stuff from, they'll put two or three things from Wish in the same package. So I think this is both the things from Wish. Let me see. Uh, headset and card reader. Yeah, so that's the two things from Wish. So, okay. So, mystery solved. So, that's all the way down there. So, I should be able to cut it from up here. Should. So, remember the time I got uh, that stuff from Liliac? We came with stickers, and I cut it in such a way that one of the stickers got cut. So, anyway. So, this is a an iPhone card reader. You know how iPhones nowadays don't have a card reader in them. So, someone created this card reader that you can actually plug into your iPhone and, uh, and, um, you know, load music from your computer onto your iPhone. I was getting sick of my, uh, So what I'm doing, I'm using uh, an old Sam, uh, Samsung or LG Samsung as a as a as an as a an MP3 player, and I'm using an old iPhone as an MP3 player. So I don't know if I need that on it at all. So here is the card reader. See the card goes in there. So I need to find yes, no, it's not for you. Just because it exists in this apartment doesn't mean it's for you. I'm starting to wonder whether or not it was a good idea to do the unboxing video in here. This is a... Uh, this is my bedroom doubles as an office, so... I have the computer set up here for me to do work and stuff, so... Anyway, so I'm gonna... Should I try it now? I mean, I don't know... I can't really... Type C card reader, so theoretically that's. I'll just try it out later, because I don't really want to. And it comes with this for some reason. I got a key ring, so I got a key ring out of it. So now my co-star is de deciding he's going to go somewhere else. So here is the headset, as it's called, on the label. What it is, I had one of these ages ago. Not ages ago, but I mean, I had one of these a while ago. And, uh, it, uh, 
it uh, it ran down, and I put it in my pocket, which is my pen's pocket, which is where I put things that I need to remember to recharge. Normally, I keep stuff like this in my jacket pocket to have e easy access to it. But uh, so I got one of these. It's a Bluetooth headset. I had one of these like four or five years ago, maybe before the pandemic. So basically what it is, you just put it over your ear like that, and you can connect it to your phone or whatever. And I guess I can pick the phone up for the time being and have a good look at it. You just connect it to your phone and, you know, you can listen to music or take calls or whatever you do with a Bluetooth headset. And uh, the first one I got was probably cheaper than this. I mean, this wasn't overly expensive. Wish is very wish is very inexpensive, and here are the uh, instructions, which are largely in English. And the cord, of course, to charge it. So I wasn't expecting that because uh, it was giving a separate notification for the other two packages. It said one had arrived. I don't remember which one it said. I think it said this one had arrived, and. This one was still in transit, so I don't know. Or the other way around, whatever. At any rate, though, pleasant surprise. So, the other package I got today from my friend Justin, who makes Vampire Hunter kits. Oh, that's a bit loose. I don't, I don't know if it was supposed to be. That's the first time I touched it like that, so I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, so a Vampire Hunter kit. Is there anyone who might remember from my Facebook? Last, uh, last Halloween, not this past Halloween, I think the Halloween before that, uh, I helped, uh, my friend Justin with a, uh, Vampire Hunter kit. So, let's have a look. Now, first thing, of course, that happened when I got, when I got it into the apartment was I opened it up, and of course, you know who had to have a good old sniff at it. So there's the inside of the box. Now, for starters... There's a, and here's some uh, parchment with stuff written on it, I should imagine. Yes, instructions for your vampire slaying kit, or what it includes, or whatever. So, and this one, given that it's in Canada, I wouldn't doubt that this one's in French. Preparing holy water. Preparation for holy water. So, so of course, being that it's a vampire slaying kit, it comes with a stake. And a little cross. And a mirror, so you can prove to them that they're vampires. See, no reflection. And, I'm guessing this is holy water. Yeah, holy water says on the bottom. So it says right there, holy water. And this is what does this say? What does that say? It wasn't it's not exactly written all that well. Anyway, whatever that says, and this one is salt. So would that be garlic, presumably, for vampire hunting? Most likely. We didn't write it, uh, didn't write it all that darkly. It's probably a safe bet that that's garlic. Does that look like garlic? I don't remember the last time I saw garlic. And a candle. Because fire, I guess? Anyway, is that leaking? No, nope, this okay. Anyway, so there is my vampire hunter kit that I helped him sell. I don't know how many of them he had ended up selling, but if you want to uh, get your own vampire hunter kit, contact Justin Foley on Facebook, and he should be able to uh, help you out. He's got two. This is the big one, I think. So if you like this but don't necessarily want to pay the full price of whatever he's going to quote you, is the price. 
and presumably also this will not be. Anyway, he said when he contacted me earlier today that I gotta wait for the glue to set, so maybe that's one of the things he should have let it set a little bit longer. Anyway, so that's this week's months, maybe, unboxing video. Uh, double shot, triple shot as it turns out. I was confused what was in that package. So, like, I don't, can't wrap my brain around what's in this package. Actually, there's a, yeah, there's, there's actually three packages on shop. And one of them, like, here's, you know, here's two of them. Here's two of the three packages. And the third one, I don't know. I don't know what it is, so I'll have to see. So uh, that's it for this uh, this unboxing video. Later days.